Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to talk about should you refinance your student loan or your home mortgage? Um, and they're both very similar and they work in similar ways in terms of how the, the math works out. So we're just going to take a student loan example here. And the answer to the question in simple terms is it depends on your break even point. So today I'm going to introduce the concept of a break even point and explain what it means to you guys um, so you guys can decide if you should refinance or not. So this scenario, um, we're going to take $100,000 in student loan debt at a 7% interest rate, a uh, 10 year loan term, and your monthly interest calculated as around $500 per month. And that's just to keep things simple. Um, actually, it's a little more complicated than that because there's something called amortization, which means every year, every month, you pay back a little bit of principal, so your interest goes down a little bit every month. But let's just take an average of maybe you're paying $500 per month. So in this case, we're going to refinance it and we're going to get a lower interest rate. It used to be 7%. Now we're going to refinance at a 4% interest rate. So whenever you refinance, there's two fees you pay. There's the origination fees and then there's the points. So origination fees is basically the cost of originating the loan or creating that loan. So in this case, I'm going to say it's $500. Points is a percentage of the total value of the loan. So let's say your loan is $100,000 and you pay one point. That means you pay 1% of $100,000, which is $1,000. So the total cost of refinancing is the origination points plus, or sorry, the origination fees plus the points, which happens to be $1,500. And so to determine your break even point, you have to take this total cost of refinancing and divide it by the uh, amount you save in interest per month. This is the original interest per month. And now you're paying only $300 per month because the 4% interest rate is a lot lower. And so um, you're saving 500 minus 300. So you're saving $200 per month. So now what we do is we take this total cost of refinancing and we divide it by the $200 per month. And so 1500 divided by 200 equates to 7.5 months, which means your break even point is at the 7.5 month mark. That means before seven and a half months, if you were to pay off your loan before then, then it makes no sense to refinance because you're actually going to lose more money than you will save and in the interest saved. Uh, and if you were to pay your loans after the seven and a half month mark, that means you would save money because after those seven and a half months pass, you'll be saving uh, $200 in interest per month after that, after that break even point, right? Origination fees and points differ a lot between different lenders. So I recommend you check out several lenders, call up several lenders and see what their rates are um, and what their origination fees and points are. So let's just take an example of a lender maybe who charged a lot more in fees and points. Let's say they charged $7,000 total for the total cost of closing. Let's say they still offer a 4% interest rate though. So then your break even point would be 7,000, which is the new total cost of refinancing divided by the, the same $200 up here because we're saving the same amount of interest, it's still $200 per month since the interest rate is 4%. Then your break even point is 35 months, which is about three years. So that means if you're going to pay your loans before the three year mark, um, you shouldn't refinance because you're losing money in that $7,000 refinancing fees um, versus if you were to pay it after those three years, you're going to be saving $200 per month every month after that. So. Hopefully this makes sense for you guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, uh, please you know like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I also have a website for you guys if you want to connect with me. It's www.newbierealestateinvesting.com. And thank you guys for watching the video.